The interstellar station of Galatea was a bustling hub of commerce and culture, attracting beings from every corner of the galaxy. Among the many visitors was a young human named Tom, a skilled engineer who had come to Galatea to work on advanced starship designs. Tom had always been fascinated by alien technology and cultures, and Galatea was the perfect place to indulge his curiosity. One day, as Tom was exploring the market district, he stumbled upon an intriguing scene. A tall, elegant alien woman with iridescent skin that shimmered in the sunlight was struggling to control a massive, fierce-looking creature. The beast had sharp claws, glowing eyes, and scales that glinted like polished armor. The crowd around them watched in fear and awe, keeping a safe distance. Intrigued and concerned, Tom approached cautiously. Do you need help? He asked, his eyes fixed on the creature. The alien woman, whose name was Azara, glanced at him in surprise. You? A human? What could you possibly do? Tom smiled confidently. I'm good with animals, let me try. Azara hesitated, but finally nodded, stepping aside. Tom approached the creature slowly, speaking in soothing tones. To everyone's astonishment, the beast calmed down almost immediately, lowering its head submissively and allowing Tom to stroke its scales. Azara watched in shock and fascination. How did you do that? Tom shrugged modestly. Animals can sense kindness, and sometimes all they need is a gentle touch. Azara was the daughter of a high-ranking official from the planet Zareth, known for its fierce warriors and deadly creatures. The beast, named Korath, was a prized pet and protector, trained to be aggressive and loyal only to her family. Azara couldn't understand how a mere human had managed to tame Korath so effortlessly. Intrigued by Tom's abilities, Azara invited him to her quarters for further discussion. Tom, eager to learn more about the alien culture and their magnificent beasts, readily agreed. As they talked, Tom learned that Korath had been a gift to Azara from her father, meant to protect her in the dangerous political environment of Zareth. However, Korath had always been difficult to control aggressive towards everyone except Azara. Tom's ability to calm the beast was unprecedented and deeply puzzling to her. Over the next few weeks, Tom visited Azara regularly, helping her train Korath and spending time with both of them. Azara found herself drawn to Tom's gentle nature and his understanding of creatures. She admired his patience and kindness, qualities rarely seen among the warriors of Zareth. For Tom, the time spent with Azara and Korath was equally captivating. He was fascinated by Azara's strength and grace, and the bond that began to form between them was undeniable. They shared stories of their worlds, their dreams and their fears, growing closer with each passing day. One evening, as they sat on a balcony overlooking the vibrant lights of Galatea, Azara confessed her growing feelings. Tom, I've never met anyone like you. Your kindness, your understanding, it's unlike anything I've known. I feel a connection with you that I can't explain. Tom looked into her eyes, feeling his heart swell with emotion. I feel the same way as Ara. Being with you has been an incredible experience. I never thought I'd find someone like you in this vast galaxy. Their bond grew stronger, and Korath, once a symbol of fear and aggression, became a bridge between them. The fierce beast had transformed under Tom's care, becoming a loyal and gentle companion. Azara marveled at the change realizing that love and kindness could tame even the wildest of hearts. As the days turned into weeks, Tom and Azara's relationship deepened. They spent hours together, discussing everything from the intricacies of starship engineering to the cultural traditions of Zareth. Tom found himself captivated by Azara's intelligence and fierce independence, while Azara was drawn to Tom's gentleness and curiosity. One evening, as they sat on a balcony overlooking the vibrant lights of Galatea, Azara confessed her growing feelings. Tom, I've never met anyone like you, your kindness, your understanding. It's unlike anything I've known. I feel a connection with you that I can't explain. Tom looked into her eyes, feeling his heart swell with emotion. I feel the same way, Azara. Being with you has been an incredible experience. I never thought I'd find someone like you in this vast galaxy. Their bond grew stronger, and Korath, once a symbol of fear and aggression, became a bridge between them. The fierce beast had transformed under Tom's care, becoming a loyal and gentle companion. Azara marveled at the change, realizing that love and kindness could tame even the wildest of hearts. Azara was the daughter of a high-ranking official from the planet Zareth, 
Known for its fierce warriors and deadly creatures, the beast, named Korath, was a prized pet and protector, trained to be aggressive and loyal only to her family. Azara couldn't understand how a mere human had managed to tame Korath so effortlessly. Intrigued by Tom's abilities, Azara invited him to her quarters for further discussion. Tom, eager to learn more about the alien culture and their magnificent beasts, readily agreed. As they talked, Tom learned that Korath had been a gift to Azara from her father, meant to protect her in the dangerous political environment of Zarith. However, Korath had always been difficult to control, aggressive towards everyone except Azara. Tom's ability to calm the beast was unprecedented and deeply puzzling to her. Over the next few weeks, Tom visited Azara regularly, helping her train Korath and spending time with both of them. Azara found herself drawn to Tom's gentle nature and his understanding of creatures. She admired his patience and kindness, qualities rarely seen among the warriors of Zarath. For Tom, the time spent with Azara and Korath was equally captivating. He was fascinated by Azara's strength and grace, and the bond that began to form between them was undeniable. They shared stories of their worlds, their dreams, and their fears, growing closer with each passing day. Azara's life had been one of constant vigilance and strength, her father's influence ensuring that she was always prepared for danger. Yet with Tom, she found a new sense of peace and security, one that softened her edges and allowed her to explore feelings she had long suppressed. Korath, too, seemed to sense the change. The once fearsome beast now lay contentedly at their feet, a silent guardian and symbol of their growing bond. Tom's presence had transformed not just the creature, but Azara herself. Despite their growing happiness, danger loomed on the horizon. Azara's father, Lord Xanthar, was a powerful and influential figure on Zareth, known for his ruthlessness and ambition. He had sent Korath to protect Azara, unaware that the beast would bond with a human. Word of Tom and Azara's relationship reached Lord Xanthar, who saw it as a threat to his plans. He disapproved of his daughter fraternizing with a human, fearing it would weaken their family's position. Determined to end the relationship, he sent a group of elite warriors to Galatea with orders to bring Azara back to Zareth and eliminate Tom. Azara received a coded message from a loyal servant, warning her of the impending danger. Fear and anger surged within her as she realized the extent of her father's control. She knew she had to act quickly to protect Tom and Korath. That night, Azara and Tom met in secret to discuss their next move. We have to leave Galatea, Azara said urgently. My father won't stop until he's torn us apart. We need to find a safe place where we can be together. Tom nodded, determination in his eyes. We'll find a way, Azara. We'll face whatever comes together. Under the cover of darkness, they made their way to a secluded docking bay where Tom's personal starship was hidden. The sleek, agile vessel was equipped with advanced stealth technology, making it the perfect escape craft. As they boarded the ship, Tom activated the cloaking device and plotted a course to a distant, uninhabited planet known for its dense forests and abundant wildlife. It was a place where they could hide and build a new life together, far from the reach of Lord Xanthar. The journey through hyperspace was tense, with Azara constantly monitoring their surroundings for any signs of pursuit. Tom focused on navigating the ship, his mind racing with plans for their future. After several days of travel, they arrived at their destination. The planet was as beautiful and untamed as they had hoped, with lush vegetation and towering trees. They landed the ship in a hidden clearing and began setting up a makeshift camp. As they worked, Korath roamed the area, ensuring there were no threats. The beast had become fiercely protective of both Tom and Azara, ready to defend them at any cost. That night, as they sat by a crackling fire, Tom took Azara's hand. We've made it this far, Azara. No matter what happens, we'll face it together. Azara squeezed his hand, her heart filled with love and determination. Together, she echoed, knowing that their bond was stronger than any challenge they might face. Life on the new planet was challenging but rewarding. Tom and Azara worked tirelessly to build a safe and comfortable home, using their combined skills and knowledge. Tom's expertise in engineering and construction proved invaluable, while Azara's survival instincts and warrior training helped them navigate the wild terrain. Korath, once a symbol of fear, became a beloved companion and protector. The fierce beast patrolled their territory, ensuring their safety and forming an unbreakable bond with both Tom and Azara. 
Days turned into weeks, and their new life began to take shape. They planted a garden, built a shelter, and explored the surrounding forests. Each day brought new discoveries and challenges, but they faced them together, their love growing stronger with each passing moment. One evening, as they watched the sun set over the horizon, Azara turned to Tom with a smile. I never thought I'd find such happiness, especially not here, on an unknown planet with a human. Tom chuckled, pulling her close. Life is full of surprises. I'm just glad we found each other. Their idyllic existence, however, was not without its moments of danger. The planet's wild inhabitants occasionally posed threats, and they had to remain vigilant. But with Korath by their side and their unwavering bond, they faced each challenge head on. One day, as Tom and Azara were working in the garden, a distant rumble caught their attention. They looked up to see a ship descending from the sky, its sleek design unmistakably of Zareth origin. Azara's heart sank as she realized her father had found them. We have to hide, Azara urged, grabbing Tom's hand. They won't stop until they take me back and eliminate you. They retreated to the dense forest with Korath, finding a concealed vantage point from which to observe the landing. A group of armed Zareth warriors disembarked from the ship, led by a stern-looking officer. It was clear they were here on a mission. Tom squeezed Azara's hand. We'll find a way to deal with this. We just need to stay hidden and come up with a plan. As they watched, the warriors spread out, searching the area. Tom knew they couldn't remain hidden forever. They needed to find a way to outsmart the pursuers and protect their newfound home. That night, Tom and Azara devised a plan to outwit the Zareth warriors. Using their knowledge of the terrain and the resources at their disposal, they set up a series of traps and diversions to lead the pursuers away from their camp. Korath played a crucial role in the plan. The beast's agility and intelligence allowed it to create false trails and lure the warriors into the traps. Tom and Azara worked tirelessly, using every skill they had to ensure their plan's success. The following day, the Zareth warriors resumed their search, unaware of the traps that awaited them. One by one, they fell into carefully constructed pitfalls and snares, their progress slowed by the diversions. As the sun set, the warriors regrouped, frustrated and exhausted. The officer, realizing they were being outsmarted, called for a temporary retreat to reassess their strategy. Tom and Azara watched from their hidden vantage point, feeling a sense of relief and accomplishment. We did it. Azara whispered, her eyes filled with determination. But we need to stay vigilant. They'll be back. Tom nodded, knowing that their fight was far from over. We'll be ready. Together we can handle anything. As the night grew darker, they retreated deeper into the forest, planning their next move. They knew that the warriors would not give up easily, but their bond, along with Korath's loyalty and cunning, gave them hope. The battle for their freedom had only just begun and they were prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Days passed, and the Zareth warriors continued their search, growing more desperate and aggressive. Tom and Azara knew they couldn't keep up their diversions indefinitely. It was time to confront the pursuers and put an end to the threat once and for all. Under the cover of night, they approached the warriors' camp. Korath moved silently beside them, ready to strike if necessary. Tom and Azara formulated a bold plan to confront the officer and negotiate a truce. As they neared the camp, they overheard the officer's frustrated voice. We can't keep wasting resources here. We need to capture them and return to Zareth. Azara stepped forward, her voice strong and clear. If you want me, you'll have to face us directly. The warriors turned, weapons drawn, but the officer held up a hand, signaling them to stop. Azara, your father sent us to bring you back. Don't make this difficult. Azara stood tall, her gaze unwavering. I won't return to Zareth. I found a new life here, and I'm not leaving. Tom stepped beside her, his presence a silent testament to their unity. We're willing to negotiate. There's no need for violence. The officer studied them for a moment before nodding. Very well, let's talk. They moved to a more neutral area, away from the tension-filled camp. The officer, whose name was Commander Relic, listened as Tom and Azara explained their situation and their desire for peace. You found something rare, Relic admitted, a bond that transcends our differences. But your father is a powerful man, Azara. He won't easily accept this. Azara nodded. I understand, but I won't let him control my life. We're willing to communicate and find a peaceful solution. 
Relic sighed. I'll relay your message to Lord Xanthar, but be prepared for his anger. He won't let go easily. While they awaited a response from Zareth, Tom and Azara knew they had to prepare for any outcome. They fortified their camp, setting up more advanced defenses and ensuring that Korath was ready for anything. The days were tense, filled with anticipation and uncertainty. Tom and Azara continued to strengthen their bond, finding solace in each other's presence. Korath, ever the vigilant guardian, sensed their unease and stayed close, his loyalty unwavering. One evening as they watched the sunset, Tom turned to Azara. No matter what happens, we'll face it together. We can't let fear control our lives. Azara nodded, determination in her eyes. Together, we'll find a way to make this work. A week later, a message arrived from Zariath. It was from Lord Xanthar himself, demanding Azara's immediate return and threatening severe consequences if she refused. The message was clear. Her father's pride and authority were at stake. Azara knew she had to respond. With Tom by her side, she recorded a message to her father explaining her decision and her new life. She spoke of love, understanding, and the bond she had found with Tom. She pleaded for peace and a chance to live her life on her own terms. As they sent the message, Tom squeezed Azara's hand. Whatever happens, we're in this together. The waiting was agonizing. They continued to prepare, knowing that Lord Xanthar's response could bring either peace or further conflict. Relic, still in the area, had grown sympathetic to their cause and offered to mediate if necessary. Finally, the response came. Lord Xanthar, though furious, agreed to a meeting. He would come to the planet himself, accompanied by a small contingent, to see the life Azara had chosen and decide their fate. The day of the meeting arrived, filled with tension and hope. Tom, Azara, and Korath awaited Lord Xanthar's arrival, knowing that this confrontation could determine the rest of their lives. As the ship descended, Tom and Azara stood hand in hand, ready to face whatever came next. Korath, ever the guardian, growled softly, his eyes fixed on the approaching figures. They knew the road ahead would not be easy, but their love and determination gave them strength. Lord Xanthar emerged from the ship, his eyes cold and calculating. He took in the sight of his daughter, the human, and the loyal beast beside them. For a moment the air was thick with tension, the future uncertain. Azara stepped forward, her voice steady. Father, thank you for coming. Please let us talk and find a way to move forward in peace. Lord Xanthar studied them for a long moment before nodding curtly. Very well, let's talk. The meeting that followed was filled with heated discussions and emotional pleas. Azara spoke passionately about her love for Tom and her desire for a life free from control. Tom spoke of their bond and their shared dreams emphasizing their willingness to find a peaceful resolution. Relic played his part as a mediator, helping to bridge the gap between father and daughter. Slowly, the walls of hostility began to crumble, replaced by a tentative understanding. By the end of the day, a fragile truce was established. Lord Xanthar agreed to let Azara stay with Tom, provided they maintained communication and respected Zareth's traditions. It was not a perfect solution, but it was a start. As the ship departed, leaving Tom, Azara, and Korath to their peaceful life, they felt a sense of triumph. They had faced the storm and emerged stronger, their love and determination guiding them through the darkest of times. Their future was still uncertain, but they knew they could face any challenge together. As they watched the sunset, hand in hand, they looked forward to the adventures that lay ahead, confident in their unbreakable bond and the life they had built together. With the tension of the confrontation behind them, Tom and Azara focused on building a sustainable and peaceful future on their new planet. The truce with Lord Xanthar, though fragile, provided them with the opportunity to live their lives on their own terms. Tom and Azara expanded their camp, turning it into a comfortable home that blended human engineering with Zarethian design. They constructed advanced energy systems, irrigation for their gardens, and a communication hub to stay in touch with Zareth. Their hard work and combined skills transformed their surroundings into a thriving sanctuary. Korath continued to be a loyal companion and protector. The once feared beast had become an integral part of their daily lives, helping with security and even assisting in tasks around the camp. Korath's bond with both Tom and Azara deepened, symbolizing the harmony they had achieved. One day, as Tom and Azara were working on a new water filtration system, a message arrived from Zareth. It was from Relic 
who had become an unexpected ally. He brought news of Lord Xanthar's growing acceptance and the political shifts within Zareth that were slowly favoring more progressive views. Your father's influence is waning, Relek reported. There are many who see the wisdom in your choices, Azara. Change is coming, though it may be slow. Azara felt a mixture of relief and hope. Thank you, Relek. Your support has meant a lot to us. Relek nodded. Continue to live well. Your example is inspiring many back home. As the seasons changed, so did their lives. Azara and Tom found joy in the small moments, watching the sunrise, exploring the diverse ecosystem of their planet, and dreaming of the future they were building together. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, rooted in love and mutual respect. One evening as they sat by the fire, Tom looked at Azara with a serious expression. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Azara tilted her head, curious. What is it? Tom took a deep breath. Azara, will you marry me? I know our cultures are different, but I want to make this commitment to you. To show that I'm with you, always. Azara's eyes filled with tears of joy. Yes, Tom, I will marry you. Our love is stronger than any tradition or boundary. Their wedding was a simple yet beautiful ceremony, held under the stars with Korath as their only witness. They exchanged vows, promising to support and cherish each other for the rest of their lives. It was a moment of pure happiness and a testament to their unbreakable bond. With their marriage solidifying their commitment, Tom and Azara focused on leaving a lasting legacy. They wanted to share their story and inspire others to see beyond their differences. Together, they established a center for interspecies communication and cooperation, inviting scholars, scientists, and diplomats from across the galaxy to visit and learn. The center quickly became a beacon of hope and understanding. Visitors were fascinated by the harmonious blend of human and Zarathian technology and culture. Tom and Azara held workshops and seminars, sharing their experiences and teaching others about the importance of empathy, respect, and collaboration. Korath, ever the loyal companion, became a symbol of their success. The once feared killer beast was now a gentle giant, adored by all who met him. He helped bridge the gap between species, showing that even the most formidable creatures could be tamed with love and kindness. One day, as Tom and Azara were preparing for a presentation, they received an unexpected visitor. Lord Xanthar himself had come to see their achievements. The atmosphere was tense, but Azara greeted her father with a mixture of respect and determination. Father, welcome to our home, she said, her voice steady. Lord Xanthar looked around, taking in the thriving center and the harmonious coexistence of different beings. Azara, I have come to see what you have built. Your mother would have been proud. Azara felt a pang of emotion. Thank you, father. I hope you can see that our way is not a threat but a new path forward. Lord Xanthar nodded slowly. I see that now. You have proven that love and understanding can achieve what force and fear cannot. The visit marked a turning point. Lord Xanthar returned to Zareth with a new perspective, advocating for more progressive policies and supporting initiatives that promoted unity and cooperation. The change was slow, but it was a step in the right direction. Tom and Azara's center continued to grow, attracting visitors from all corners of the galaxy. Their message of unity and love resonated with many, inspiring countless others to pursue peace and understanding in their own lives. As they stood on the balcony of their home, Looking out over the thriving community they had built, Tom and Azara felt a deep sense of fulfillment. They had overcome immense challenges, defied expectations, and created a legacy that would endure for generations. We've come so far, Azara, Tom said, holding her close, and we've only just begun. Azara smiled, her heart full of love and pride. Together, there's nothing we can't achieve. Their journey was far from over, but they faced the future with confidence and hope. Their love had transcended the boundaries of their worlds, proving that even the most unlikely bonds could thrive. Together, they would continue to inspire and lead, creating a brighter future for all who followed in their footsteps. Years of peace and progress had solidified the Center for Interspecies Communication and Cooperation as a beacon of unity. Tom and Azara's efforts had not only brought harmony to their new home, but had also influenced countless individuals and civilizations across the galaxy. However, new challenges were always on the horizon. 
One day, as Tom and Azara were conducting a workshop on conflict resolution, they received an urgent message from the Interstellar Council. A new species, the Critherans, had made contact with the Council. They were technologically advanced, but socially fragmented, with deep-seated internal conflicts threatening to spill over into interstellar warfare. The Council requested Tom and Azara's assistance, hoping their unique expertise and successful track record could help mediate and bring peace to the Critherans. Tom and Azara agreed, understanding the gravity of the situation. They prepared for their journey, making arrangements to ensure the center would continue to operate smoothly in their absence. Korath, now older but still vigilant, seemed to sense the importance of the mission and stayed close to them as they made their plans. When they arrived on the Critheran homeworld, they were struck by the stark contrast between the advanced cities and the areas ravaged by conflict. The Critherans were a proud and fiercely independent people, but their internal divisions had led to a cycle of violence and mistrust. Tom and Azura began by meeting with the leaders of the various factions. They listened to their grievances and concerns, carefully crafting a plan to bring them together. It was a delicate process, requiring patience, empathy, and a deep understanding of the complex social dynamics at play. As they worked, they faced resistance and skepticism. Many Critherans were wary of outsiders, doubting that a human and an alien from a distant world could understand their struggles. But Tom and Azara's dedication and genuine desire to help slowly began to break down the barriers of mistrust. After weeks of intense negotiations, Tom and Azara proposed a series of initiatives aimed at fostering unity and cooperation among the Critheran factions. They organized a grand summit, inviting leaders from all factions to come together and discuss their shared future. The summit was fraught with tension, but Tom and Azara's calm and steady presence helped to maintain order. They facilitated open dialogue, encouraging the leaders to voice their concerns and seek common ground. It was a challenging process, but gradually, a sense of mutual respect began to emerge. One evening, as the summit continued into its second week, a breakthrough occurred. One of the most influential Kritharan leaders who had been particularly resistant to change stood up and addressed the assembly. I have seen the dedication and integrity of these outsiders, he said, gesturing towards Tom and Azara. They have shown us that peace is possible, not through force, but through understanding and cooperation. It is time we set aside our differences and work together for the future of our people. The atmosphere in the room shifted. There was a palpable sense of hope and possibility. Encouraged by the leader's words, other faction leaders began to express their willingness to compromise and collaborate. Over the next few days, a series of agreements were reached. The Critherans decided to establish a council representing all factions, tasked with addressing their collective challenges and ensuring a peaceful coexistence. Tom and Azara offered their continued support and expertise, promising to assist in the implementation of the agreements. As the summit concluded, the Kratharan leaders expressed their gratitude to Tom and Azara. They were hailed as heroes, their efforts having averted a potential interstellar conflict and paved the way for a brighter future for the Kratharans. Returning to their home, Tom and Azara reflected on the mission's success. They had once again demonstrated the power of empathy, understanding, and collaboration. Their work had not only brought peace to the Critherans, but it also reinforced the values they had always championed. As they resumed their roles at the center, they found renewed purpose and energy. Their experiences with the Critherans had deepened their commitment to their mission, and they continued to inspire others with their story. One evening, as they stood on the balcony of their home, looking out over the thriving community they had built, Tom and Azara felt a profound sense of fulfillment. They had overcome immense challenges, defied expectations, and created a legacy that would endure for generations. We've come so far, Tom, Azara said, her voice filled with emotion, and we've only just begun. Tom nodded, holding her close. Together, there's nothing we can't achieve. 